Hi, my name is Greg Prussia. I'm the chair of the management department here in the Albert School of Business and Economics at Seattle University. And I'm here to tell you about some of the reasons that um, you want to become a management major here at our school. So probably the main reason you'd want to become a management major is because you love the topic. You love the, uh, the area of study, the things that go on um, for an organization regarding management issues. So what are some of those things? Uh, those things include um, learning how to hire and uh, retain a, a good workforce, a workforce that works together uh, to achieve organizational goals. Uh, something else includes um, understanding how to form and uh, you know, manage work teams. Um, organizations today are using teams a lot so it's important for managers to understand how to um, work with teams and how to make them effective. Other things include um, understanding how to motivate, develop, and reward employees to enhance individual performance. Right. So that's important for managers to be uh, to to understand how to do. And then finally, maybe most importantly, is uh, learning how to um, improve leadership um, in members of the organization. All people in the organization, all employees in the organization can, can improve their leadership qualities and skills, but it's especially important for those who are supervising others. So uh, it's important for, for people to know how to effectively lead. Um, and so those are some of the things that are important uh, topics in the management major. There are several others. Um, but uh, those are just some of them. If those are of interest to you, you might uh, be interested in uh, becoming a management major. There are several other things as well that are more practical things, and I'd like to show you some of those in a uh, PowerPoint slide here. Let's see if I can get this going. Slide show. All right, why major major in management? Well, a couple reasons. Um, the uh, median pay, this is from uh, 2018, is uh, quite high. Um, so those are kind of some of the management uh, positions that people can uh, get out of um, um, uh, graduation. Um, you may not start as a human resource manager, but you'd, you'd start maybe in recruiting. Um, and areas of uh, human resource specialties include benefits management and compensation, those kind of things. This is um, uh, from a Georgetown study uh, after the uh, 2008 recession. Uh, business uh, management majors had uh, less of a kind of a negative unemployment rate relative to others, right? So that's kind of another practical thing. This is from our Albers Placement Center. Um, the uh, placement rate for the class of 2019, quite high. That's for management majors. Here's, um, oh yeah, the, um, clearly the, these days you hear a lot about um, basically hard skills, uh, business analytics and uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, right? The importance of those, but it's important not to overlook uh, the impact that soft skills have in a business, right? So what are the differences between hard and soft skills? Well, hard skills are more kind of uh, quantifiable, very specific, you know, it's what you know, versus the soft skills are kind of how you act, right? They're interpersonal skills, they're intangible, okay? Here's a quote from a VP of people management at Google. Uh, our best managers uh, have teams that perform better, their, their retention rate is better, the, the uh, team members are happier, um, and the, the factor that they attributed those kind of outcomes to was the quality of the manager, all right? So it's important that managers uh, are effective. They understand uh, things to, to, you know, the skills that are associated with managerial effectiveness so that you can have these positive outcomes. Uh, here's another kind of um, result um, that uh, this is from Career Builder uh, that, um, you know, most of the vast majority of employers believe that uh, hard skills and soft skills are equally important. But 20% of them said that uh, soft skills are even more important than hard skills. So that goes to show you the, uh, the impact that soft skills have on managing uh, managers as employers. 
Here is another um, uh, some data. This is from the Bureau of Economic Research, National Bureau of Economic Research. And this shows the importance of uh, social skills over time. Um, so you have kind of routine tasks are, are getting becoming less and less important. Uh, and then analytical tasks are becoming more, um, but then tasks that require social skills or soft skills are becoming even more important. And then also uh, pay related to those soft skills is uh, going up. So um, you, uh, the highest one is both um, high social and high math skills, right? So if you can get a balance, you're going to get the most highly paid jobs are associated with that balance. This is uh, Seth Godin. He is a um, kind of a management guru, an entrepreneur. Um, he, he doesn't really like the term soft skills. It's not really a good um, label, but kind of it plays off hard skills pretty well. Uh, he calls them real skills, leadership skills, human skills. And if you don't have them, you're no good to us, right? <clears throat> so how can you develop and demonstrate your soft skills? Well, here's some of the soft skills that we teach. And I talked about this a little bit earlier. Uh, kind of inspiring and leading and developing others, um, organizational structure and social responsibility, uh, teamwork and, and individual performance, and effective uh, and persuasive communication. Those are just some of the things that we focus on. Here's some of the classes that we offer. Um, management uh, 3830 is human resource management. That's uh, where you get some of the hard skills and the things about compensation, um, uh, performance management, um, you know, uh, those types of things are typically looked at as, uh, we include people analytics as well. We have a new class in people analytics. So um, that's one of the more hard ones. Here's uh, managing work teams. Um, so this is uh, the internal team functioning, it includes knowledge sharing and communication strategies uh, within teams. Uh, the external function is uh, interacting with stakeholders and uh, managing external trends. And recent team designs include uh, multicultural teams, virtual teams, cross-functional teams, you know, all, all how people work together within teams you know, and the forms of those teams is important to understand uh, in order to improve and enhance team effectiveness. Here's the adventure-based leadership uh, course, uh, lots of different things focusing on trust, goal setting, emotional intelligence, um, all these things are related to leadership effectiveness. and. Um, it's really important, and, and as you can see by the uh, the picture, we'll use a um, a challenge course in order to kind of focus on some of these things. Uh, here's the uh, diversity uh, class, managing diversity, and it uh, includes a self -re self reflection, implicit biases, uh, power structures, and um, right now the demand for diversity officers is really high. So. Uh, yeah, if you want to major in management, uh, if these things are of interest to you, uh, I think uh, a major in management would be great. Here's some information um, to uh, get uh, some, some contact information to get more uh, uh, answers if you'd like, or please feel free to email me. There's my, my email address. And um, so um i hope you found this video of um helpful in answering any questions i hope to meet you someday and until then go seattle you